Okay, now we're going to learn the word there. So, in the word there, we have the TH, which makes the sound Z. Can you make the sound Z? The next two letters, E and I, are going to make the long A sound. A. Make the long A sound A. And then at the end, we have an R, which makes the er sound. Can you make the er sound? And the R, the side, the E and I, are going to make the A sound just a little bit different when we blend it. So let's chop it, and Ms. Simons will underline it, and then I want you to blend it. Z-A-R. There. Good. Let's do it again. Z-A-R. There. You use the word there to talk about something that belongs to more than one person. So over here in our sentence, we have two girls and they're clapping hands together playing a game. So I'm going to read the sentence the first time and then the second time I want you to read it with me. They use their hands to play this game. Okay, your turn. I want you to read it with me. They use their hands to play this game. So they're playing a clapping game and they use their hands to play this clapping game. So, I have some sentences, oops, I have some sentences down here and we're going to read them and decide if they make sense. So our first one says, their car was broken. So remember, we use the word there to talk about something that belongs to more than one person. So if I said their car was broken, does that make sense? The car belongs to two people and it was broken. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little check mark here. That one makes sense. Their car was broken. That's the correct way to use the word there. Okay, in the next sentence, it says, Is there your teacher? Is there your teacher? What do you think about that sentence? Does it make sense to you? It sounds a little funny, doesn't it? So I'm going to put an X by this because that's not how we would use the word there. And I'm going to cross out there. I might use, I might say, is she your teacher? Or maybe is he your teacher? Because boys can be teachers too. Or I might say, is that your teacher? Because that's not, um, even though, you know, more than, uh, more than one person can have the same teacher, you wouldn't ask, is there your teacher? You would say, is she, he, is she your teacher? Is that your teacher? Or is he your teacher? It's a little bit confusing, but that, but I think the thing for you to remember is that when you say the sentence, it sounds funny. It just doesn't sound right. All right, so let's read the next sentence. It says, do you know their address? Oops, Ms. Simons forgot to erase the check mark there. <laughs> there is a check mark. Yes, this is correct. Do you know their address? You could ask your parents, um, I want to send a letter to Miss Simons and uh, Jeremiah. Do you know their address? And you would be talking about the address to my house where I live with Jeremiah. So our address um, belongs to both of us. So saying, do you know their address would be correct. Okay, and we have one more sentence here. The dog belongs to there. What do you think about that one? Does that make sense?
the dog belongs to there. That does not make sense. First off, it just sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? We could say the dog belongs to them. Or if I wanted to use the word there, I could come down here a little bit and I could write that is their dog. That is their dog. So we could use it that way um, to use the word there because the dog belongs to them. But in this sentence up here, it just doesn't sound right. So we're going to say the dog belongs to them. Okay, so we're going to come back up here, back to our word there, and we are going to practice um, the letter sounds really quick again, two more times. So I'm going to do it with you once, and then the second time I want you to do it on your own. So remember, TH says Z, Z, E, R, there. Okay, let's do it one more time. I want you to do it on your own this time. Good job, guys. 